everybody, my name's Rhoda. I'm the volunteer engagement specialist here at the Palm Springs Animal Shelter. I know I've met a couple of you uh, from last year's program, and so I really wanted to continue to work with you all. And so today we're going to do a tour of the animal shelter. In 2012, we were able to raise the funds for our current facility. Today, we do have to keep uh, the doors closed to the public, but we are available by appointment for adoptions and for a vaccine clinic. When you come in to the left, we have our cool cats room, whereas where we keep some of our longer stay cats. Uh, this type of environment provides more enrichment and more space for them to move around while they're here. As we turn around, we'll check out the front desk. You'll see we have some panels set up for the safety for our staff and volunteers. Additionally, our retail store is still open to our doctors so that they can get any supplies that they need then and there for their new pets. As we go around, we're gonna go to our community room. Currently, it's kitten season, so we have lots of kittens. And because of this, um, to minimize members of the public walking around our facility, We've moved all of our kittens into the community room so that potential adopters can check everyone out here. You can see we got lots and lots of babies. Wow, you're looking for a home. And so as we continue on, we'll go around to some of our adult cats. And they're in the cages that you see um, to our left and right and right in front of us. We do have portals so they can go in between the cages, um, although if they have a disease, we have them separated off a little. For our small dogs, they each have um, one of these kennels. Uh, on the board, which we'll get to in a second, you'll see that we keep a log of how many times they've been taken out per day. They get taken out into the play yard, which you see here. They'll get taken out on walks. And we'll also get to our patio coming up, which is kind of set up like a home patio so that they get acclimated to that kind of environment. We're going to go around to our suites and see some of our big dogs. And then we'll take another look at our play yard where we'll see Chris playing with one of our German Shepherds who's uh, taking a dip in one of our kiddie pools right now. So we're going to walk around and check out our dog wards. Our dog boards are both indoor and outdoor, so our big dogs can choose if they want a nice cool place or if they want to see who's walking around out um, in the courtyard. Hi everybody, they're all so cute. And so we'll see Chris walking out right now from the play yard. Um, the city's kind enough to let us use the um, yard behind our facility and we put wood chips down over the sand so that it's easier on the dog's feet because of the heat. And we'll come into the back of the building now and yeah so it's a lot bigger than it looks from the outside but we have industrial um, washers and dryers as well as an industrial kitchen setup. Right now we only have about 200 animals in our care but we can have as many as 600 and so we constantly have kitchen and laundry that we're working on. We're just kind of walking around. All the areas in the back are mostly animals that are not available for adoption yet. And so they're just kind of hanging out, either being treated or becoming of age or weight to be fixed. And so we're checking out medical and our enrichment section. Uh, we're gonna go back to surgery right now. We are so lucky to have a full surgery station with two tables as well as two dental stations, as well as an x-ray machine and an ultrasound machine. And this helps us do a lot of care for the animals with us. As well as our um, uh, indoor cats, we have TNR cats or feral cats. And so these animals aren't quite used to people, and so we let them hang out as though they were a wild animal outside, and they get adopted into barn cat or uh, garden cat programs where they can live outside. Um, but in the meantime, they hang out here um, until we find them the right place for them. And so we'll go back inside, and the last space we're checking out is our offices for our uh, front desk, adoption, intake, HR team, and we're back to the start.